Hey everyone, in this video, I want to quickly showcase just how fast On One Photo Raw 2023 is at completing some of the most difficult tasks photographers face when they're editing. When adding in sunny glows with older versions of Photo Raw, we would have to manually mask in where we wanted those glows to be applied to. So it would take up some time to paint those glows in. While in On One Photo Raw 2023, you can easily create a sunny glow anywhere in your photograph just by clicking and creating. Inside of Photo Raw, let's add in a sunny glow into the water and the grass next to it in this scene. Then we can modify the sky and the building here independently as well. The first thing I wanna do before we add in that sun glow here is just remove this distracting piece of what I'm assuming is just some trash here in the water. So I'm just gonna hit Q on the keyboard to grab my spot healing brush. I'll just brush over this little area there. Then I can modify the region that I want to cover it up with. This looks pretty good right over there. I'll just zoom out now. So now we don't have that distracting element within our scene there. Now, before we add in our sunny glow into that bottom section, let's just head over to our develop tab. I'm gonna use this AI auto option just to intelligently develop the scene for me, give it a little bit more light. So now to create that sun glow, I'm just gonna hit K on my keyboard. You can also head over and grab the Super Select AI tool there. As I hover the, over these different regions, you can see it highlights them. I'm just gonna select the grass here and this pond region there. And I'm gonna add in a nice glow. I'm gonna right click it and I'll choose my glow filter. And I'll choose Orton Clean. It's one of my all time favorite glow looks. So if I choose that there, it's going to automatically apply that filter specifically to that region. If I turn this off and on, it's really doing an awesome job of bringing in some sunny glow into that section there. And I really dig it. Next thing I want to do is just modify the sky. So I'm going to again hit K on my keyboard. I'm going to select the sky there. I'm going to right click it and we'll just add in another glow, but we'll make this a dark glow. What I want to do in here in this glow filter, so I'm just going to select this and I'm going to go into the feathering here. And I'm going to pull this up quite a bit. And that's going to feather into these trees there so that I don't have any awkward edges within my landscape there. Now let's just select our building here. We'll right click it. Let's add in some dynamic contrast. And it's applied that dynamic contrast filter and that's bringing out a lot of those details within the building. Let's just lower it a little bit. Make sure it's not too intense there. And one last filter. Let's just add on another filter and let's just add on sunshine. And inside the sunshine filter, let's just choose strong. We'll lower the opacity again to make sure it's not super intense. And if we hit the backslash key in our keyboard, here's the original. And here's after adding in that sunny glow into specific regions of the image.